Hi everybody. The book I have for you today is called Can I Be Your Dog? This is a really good book to make a connection with because it might make you think about the pet that you have at home. Maybe you have a dog or maybe a cat or any kind of fun animals. And this is about a dog who finds just the right owner. And I'm willing to bet that you guys think your pets, they probably have just the right owner too, which would be you, and they probably love you a whole bunch. So, Can I Be Your Dog? by Troy Cummings. Can I Be Your Dog? Dear people at Yellow House, Wolf, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfi. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I ask you first. So he's going to write letters to see who is going to pick him as their dog. And they wrote one back. Dear Arfi, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, um, allergic to dogs. Good luck on your search. The Honeywells. He doesn't look very happy. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog in my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. He says nom nom nom. Dear Fire Station Number 5, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every one on Butternut Street and yours is the shiniest. Arfie. So there's the mailman taking the letter to the fire station. Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, an applicant is somebody who applied for a job and he applied to be the fire dog. Thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes, wishes in your search. Fire Station number five. So they already have a fire dog. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie, you're next to last, you're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough, 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 rough. So please can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Dear Mutt, get lost. Dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely, Arfi. So his letter got returned. It says, return to sender, nobody at this address. Oh, he says, he's very sad. But look, he's in his box and he gets a note. To Arfie, it says. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner with hugs and head scratches. Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. So there, there she is. She's the one who wrote him the letter and she's waiting to see if he comes. <laughs> Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes, truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Wolf, scratch, scratch. The end. So that was a really nice story. I always like that one. It's super fun to see that he's so happy in the end and he finally finds his person. So those connections that you made, you might have made a connection like that. Maybe it took you a while to find your dog and then your dog is really special to you. All right, bye friends. Have a great day.